I can't decide which project to work on, so I'm making pitches. I've already done a pitch for Salt of the Earth, and now I'm making a pitch for Paranormal Phoenix 3, another Leavenworks AU. If you don't know, Leavenworks AU, or Alternate Universe, is a series in which the same characters experience different stories. A reverse Twilight Zone, if you will. Paranormal Phoenix Free is intended to be three different series, each taking place in the same universe but in slightly different times. The names of the first and third chronological series has already been decided as Paranormal Phoenix Free Ghost Town and Paranormal Phoenix Free Night Terrors, respectively. But today's focus is the second chronologically, which is under the working title Welcome to Phoenix Free. Welcome to Phoenix Free is a supernatural humor and suspense series, and I know that's an odd combination, but stay with me. Instead of being character-focused or plot-focused like Salt of the Earth, Phoenix Free focuses on the setting to provide conflict and has a massive main cast. The two main main characters are Kate and Mary Jackson, a set of twins serving the Marines when they ended up being cursed to be werewolves. The military faked their death and sent them to live with their biological father and also veteran werewolf Baltazar Sandry III. Kate is a versatile character that, although seems apathetic, appears to never be listening and is dismissive, can easily fake any personality she needs to. Despite her intelligence and ability to work hard, she lacked the discipline to put herself fully into something, so she joined the military to improve upon that as well as to get some distance from her family as tensions were high with her homosexuality conflicting with her family values. Mary, unlike Kate, only has one setting for her personality, which is more engaged than Kate's default, but can still be read as aggressive. She was the first of the twins to decide to join the Marines out of the desire to provide for her family, but was partially motivated to move out of the family to avoid confrontation due to the fact that she is trans in a transphobic but otherwise loving household. When Kate agreed to join with her, she was completely sold, but ended up managing to piss off a powerful witch while serving. In this AU, Baltazar Sandry III is much less out there than he is in Salt of the Earth. Don't get me wrong, he's still clinically paranoid and a bit off his rocker, but since he left the care of his father at a younger age, he wasn't raised in the situation that taught him to take out his anger and political policies. However, Baltazar has an extensive criminal record, including drug charges and once throwing a tangerine at then-President Ronald Reagan. He also has six kids if the twins are included. His mother, Alexandria Sandry, is the rich widow of Baltazar Sandry II. She's bitter and uptight, but caring and protective. Although it was a tense and generally unhealthy marriage, she never got over the death of her husband despite eight years having passed as she had been with Baltazar Sr. since she was 15. Baltazar Sandry III is married to Rook Moslov, a blind half-shapeshifter. Rook has had two children with Baltazar, Rosa and Vladimir. Rook is quiet but deathly loyal, subject to anxiety, and fears others taking his things or losing his friends. He can become possessive and may pursue someone that harms his husband or children to give them what for. There is also Baltazar's friend Romano, an incubus that runs a high-class R&B club. Romano is an ex-mobster who's dating an ex-gangster, both of which reign the Phoenix Free to escape their previous jobs. Baltazar, excluding the twins, has three living children. With Rurik, he had Rosa, who is very shy, doesn't talk much, and is easily overwhelmed, and Vladimir the youngest, an impulsive, daring, and outgoing child. There is also Adelheide, the eldest, not including the twins, from Baltazar's previous marriage. Adele's daring, politically outspoken, and a critic of everything, but in a likable way. The non-surviving kid is Billy, who passed from a questionable circumstance when he was two years old and is also from Baltazar's previous marriage. The island of Phoenix Free itself is about 15 miles in diameter and is about 20 miles off the coast of South Carolina, meaning it's technically not U.S. territory. Phoenix Free is also highly attractive to the paranormal due to the fact practically every citizen accepts their existence and the rumors of the paranormal increase tourism. However, this does not mean that the paranormal can live out in the open as rumors of the paranormal attract hunters who kill and collect supernatural creatures to sell to witches. For instance, Phoenix Free has a fairly abnormal population of incubi, but it's difficult to find each other without alerting hunters that want their valuable bones. 
Similarly, Baldazar and his children have to hide the fact that they're werewolves to prevent being hunted for their pelts. Welcome to Phoenix Reed's main concept is Kate and Mary adapting to their new lives away from their home in Arizona, as well as learning about the island. As it has no overarching plot, the main characters will shift episode to episode, but are typically chosen from the main character roster. The first episode would be the twins' introduction to Phoenix Free. They immediately, as Balthazar carries himself suspiciously, begin to suspect that Balthazar murdered one of his children. They try to find evidence as they're continuously threatened by his friends to stop poking around. I have other ideas for episodes, such as Romano realizing that his relationship isn't going very well, Baltazar's association causing him to be prime bait for a doppelganger, a new suspicious figure begins to woo Alexandria, and the like. To end this pitch, I'll provide some snippets from episodes I plan to make. And I do apologize, I am doing all of the voices myself. Hey, can I vape in here? Look, if you're gonna give yourself lung cancer, you're doing it the analog way. You can't have your hipsters ruin a perfectly good millennial free club. I've got a vape pen that looks like a cigarette, some tobacco scented juice, is that good? Get a real cigarette in the match. I'm gonna make a fursuit. You're already a werewolf, Mary. I'm gonna make a fursuit that fits over my werewolf form. God damn it, Mary. Romano, I told you medicine cabinet mirrors are haunted. The hell are you talking about? I'm burning them. I'm burning every medicine cabinet door in this house, I swear to God. And that's it for my pitch of Welcome to Phoenix Free. Any feedback at all would be greatly appreciated. And I'll include an annotation to the other pitch I made for a futuristic sci-fi drama called Salt of the Earth. Please comment on this video and leave a like or dislike.